What's good? I posted a photo last night and you guys went absolutely apeshit crazy asking me how I did it. They're really fun photos to make and they're really easy to edit. If I were to put it on a scale of one to 10 and one would be like Microsoft Paint and 10 would be like 3ds max and I would say doing this edit would be about a solid four if you don't have shit for brains You should be able to do this relatively easily So the first thing you do is open up your shit photo of your sunset that actually isn't that shit And then you're also going to have some image of like some PNG image of some guy that you found This little thing over here. This is your lock symbol and your background layout We're just going to click him and then we're going to press Control J or Command if you're on a Mac. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna change our canvas size. So we come down to image and we go down to canvas size. Come into canvas size and I'm just gonna make the height 50 inches. No, <laughs> fuck, it needs to be bigger. Um, 100 inches. Obviously we're not gonna be using all this space, just don't worry about it for now. And just drag up this layer to the top. You're probably thinking like, what the fuck is this guy doing? <laughs> but don't worry. <laughs> We're gonna <laughs> all right, so we're gonna make another layer now press command or control J again I'm gonna right click on it, and I'm just gonna go flip vertically all Right, and then basically just drag that layer down. That's what we're dealing with at the moment, which already looks Unreal and that took like what however many seconds it takes after I edit this together We're gonna come over to your guy. We're gonna, we're gonna copy him in there I'm Just gonna zoom in a bit and just find a nice little place for him to stand right here. We're gonna come down to edit we're gonna to come to uh, transform again. And then I'm just gonna flip him horizontally because I want him looking that way. So obviously it, it looks so fake at the moment and you, you just look at it and be like, like, what's going on here, right? And what we're missing from him is a shadow. We're gonna make this a new layer. We're pretty much just gonna transform that layer down there and flip him vertically. So we're gonna bring that down just there and make sure that his feet are just touching so already we've made you know a pretty drastic difference right there and it even looks a bit more legitimate now that we have his shadow in there because it's obviously a reflection if the sky is going to be reflected he's got to be reflected that that's sort of the aim of the image there's going to be some sort of realism behind it we're going to press this little yin and yang symbol down here and we're going to come over to hue and saturation we're going to come down to this button right here I'm gonna click that and basically what that does is create this little arrow here and that means this arrow is applying whatever we're about to change here just to this layer, right? We're gonna drop the hue and saturation a bit on him and we're also gonna drop the lightness because his shadow is gonna be darker. Remember, it is a shadow of him. I'm gonna do that. Now, I don't know about you guys what kind of shadows that you have, but as far as I'm concerned, my shadow definitely does not look like this. It definitely looks a bit more open opaque is that the right word we're going to duplicate that layer that we just uh that we just used his shadow layer we're going to come into filter we're going to come into blur and then gaussian blur 2.5 now what i'm going to do is um i like how blurred his feet are i'm pretty happy with that but i also want to blur the actual body a bit more so what i'm going to do is i'm going to come over to this tool here i'm going to come over to elliptical marquee tool that sounds so complicated, but it's, it's just an oval drawer. It, that's, what, that's what the professional name for it should be, oval drawer. You're gonna come over, to, that's what I'm calling it for now. You're gonna come over, you're gonna select your oval drawer, and you're gonna draw a fucking oval, because that's what it is now. It's not your fucking elliptical marquee tool. Fuck you, Adobe. We need to blur his torso a bit more. So before we do that, if we just do a straight sort of go into here and blur it, it's gonna make like this really uneven blur. So we're gonna come here, in here to select and mask, and we're just gonna feather that, so it kind of feathers out really nicely. Then come into our Gaussian blur again, four is pretty good. And now we have a nice reflection that looks a little bit more real realistic in this random sunset photo that doesn't make any sense anyway. So really at the end of the day, it just needs to look cool. It doesn't need to make a lot of sense. All right, I don't know about you guys, but I think that looks really cool. And now we're ready to go edit it in Lightroom. So I'll meet you there.
I would love to see some of the photos that you make. Send them in to me. Make even make a video of you doing it as well. I want to see some. I want I want you guys to send it in to me. I think that would be really cool to look at what you guys can come up with and what you guys can create. So I promised in the last video we'd do a question in every video. At the end of every video, I might put it at the start. I don't know. I haven't really decided yet. How would I go about finding more photography spots? Going out and finding photography locations for me. Uh, would probably be something like, you know, if I'm driving around or if I'm on the train or let's say even if I'm out for a night with some friends or whatever and I walk past a spot and I go, hey, that's a really awesome spot to go photograph, right? I'd start getting creative about it. I would start thinking about what I could shoot there, whether maybe it would be a model or maybe it would be a car or maybe it would just be a good street photo in general or maybe I could come back at nighttime or during the day. I guess it's really about just walking around your area. It doesn't have to be your area, but just walking around in general and just getting a bit of experience and really just going out and shooting as much as you can every day, every week, making sure that you get out there as much as you can to figure out what's a good spot and what's not. The more that you go out and the more that you trial and error and the more that you do experience, the more you'll start to understand what makes a good photography spot and what doesn't. Anyway guys, that is it. I'm gonna wrap up today's video, so I hope you did enjoy that. I love doing editing tutorials for you guys, so that's something I definitely wanna be pushing a bit more in the future. But um, with that all said and done, I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>